Good morning, you guys. So while my coffee pot is heating up, I'm going to show you this cute little butter dish that I got. Um, the company actually re reached out to me. It's called Sweeze. Um, I will have a link in the description to their website because they have some pretty cute stuff. But I picked this butter dish to get because, first off, I have a problem with teal. That, that, that. If you look over here, you know, everything is just all teal. Um, but our butter usually just sits out in the package kind of sad like this because Colton and I both do like bulletproof coffees in the morning. So I figured why not actually get a butter dish that fits the aesthetic. So I'm going to go ahead and put our butter in here and I might grab a fresh stick just to see if like the whole stick fits in here. Give me one second. Perfect. And it has got the nice little lid. And that is just going to go sit boom, right over there with all my other teal stuff. Cause I don't think there's any more room in my coffee corner. <laughs> coffee is basically the best thing ever so I just wanted to they use distracting me it's so cute do you want me to get it So yeah, I just celebrated my one year ketoversary. We were actually on vacation in Kansas City when that day was. Um, today is actually my son's birthday, but I'm off of work today. It's gonna be a super low key day. I just wanted to share a day of eating with you guys of what I've been doing for the last year to help achieve my weight loss and health goals. So I always start my morning off with a coffee. It's usually bulletproof, um, butter, heavy cream, sweetener. I'm out of collagen, which is why I didn't add any collagen to it. But this is all that I will have until lunch. I have no idea what we're going to have for lunch, but this will hold me over until then. And I don't know what we're doing for Kelly's birthday tonight, if anything. So we'll keep you posted. I do want to go to a bakery that is local to me. They have a lot of keto goodies and I kind of want to get a slice of their cheesecake or something just to kind of celebrate my one year because I am super proud of myself. I didn't think I'd be able to do it for a whole year, but here we are going strong. So I'm going to finish my coffee and I'll see you in a bit. So it's about 930 in the morning. I'm drinking my first glass of water. This is a 30 ounce cup and I add my Elementi electrolytes to it. Um, those are my favorite ones that I have been using. I will link to those down below like I always do. But yeah, I'm gonna get some more computer work done and then we will be having lunch in a little bit. Filming? Me? Lunchtime. So I'm going to have some of the Simply Steam Riced Veggies, the Rice Cauliflower, Broccoli Florets, and Cheese Sauce Mix. This entire thing is six grams of carbs. And then, yeah, for the whole container, which I usually eat the whole container. And then I just have two leftover pork chops that I'm going to season with, I usually put a little poultry seasoning on there onion powder where's my garlic powder garlic powder and then salt and pepper and yeah salt and pepper and that's really it so let's get to cooking
So I was apparently not filming when I got the <laughs> cauliflower uh, rice out of the microwave, but I just put it in on the plate. And then I did add like an extra tablespoon of butter from my little butter container um, on top of the rice, just because sometimes the, it's a little bit dry. So yeah, <laughs> would you stop it? So yeah, that is going to be my lunch for the day. And I'm just going to have my second uh, big cup of water. So I will see you guys later. Also, side note, this literally took me less than 10 minutes to make. Like these little pork chops were super thin. The microwave thing took five minutes. Y'all know I love really simple and easy food. The simpler you keep it, the easier it is. And I don't know, just works for me. So, all right, now I'll see you at dinner. Oh, you guys, they had, okay, I'm gonna set you at a super weird angle here. Okay, yeah, that'll work. This is the only place you're not gonna fall and Kylo's not gonna hit you. They had exactly what I wanted. I wanted their pumpkin cheesecake and I got two slices of that and then I got two chocolate chip pumpkin bars. Um, I obviously won't eat all of this tonight, but I'm so excited to get this home and show you. Now, where can I set this that you are not going to eat it? I don't come here very often just because you guys know how keto sweets and things like that can become addictive and kind of replace like our other sweets and things that we cut out while going on keto. But like I said, it's my one year ketoversary and I wanted to kind of treat myself and congratulate myself for a job well done. So this is going to be absolutely perfect for tonight. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Happy birthday, Nay. Right, guys I have got my piece of pumpkin cheesecake that I got from the Omaha bakery that you saw earlier uh, we just finished up dinner I didn't film a whole lot during dinner uh, but Kelly decided to go out for tacos so I just got a fajita jalisco I know I'm gonna like totally butcher that sorry but it's the steak chicken and shrimp and I just add on all the toppings I don't eat the rice and beans and I can usually only eat about half of it because it's super filling. So then this is what I will end my night out having just as my little bit of a one year celebration. So I'm going to taste it just because I haven't tasted it yet. That's amazing. I didn't realize there was like a little crumble on the top. Oh, it is so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> If you're ever in the uh, Omaha area, the Omaha Bakery is amazing. They always have keto treats. Fantastic. Again, I can't go there too often because your girl likes sweets. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate you being here. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.